Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm here to share three layouts with you using my September stash kit. I apologize, this is a day late because I have had a cold. I still have a cold, so just FYI. Um, so I am going, like I said, I'm going to show you three layouts that I made using my kit. And so I'll just walk you through each one. If you want to find more detailed information and close-up photos, be sure to head over to my blog because I'll have still shots there as well as um, product links below each layout. So you can check that out over on my blog at craftygenscow.com. So this is the first layout I created and this is an Easter layout and it's a bit of a different look for me. Um, I did two groupings for my two separate photos and I used some of the cut files that are available in my shop. Um, again at craftygenscow.com. So this is the floral wreath and it comes with the wreath and then um, these little flowers. So I just cut everything out in white cardstock and then I misted the wreath with some Mr. Huey's in splash. You can kind of see where it's not perfect here. I really actually like that look. But if you wanted a solid color, of course you could cut it out in cardstock or pattern paper or something like that. Um, the flowers I watercolored and then I stamped polka dots over the top. So you can kind of see like all of the pattern on here almost is polka dots. So I've got polka dot on the side, polka dot on the flowers, and I've got this polka dot back here. This is the back of the Dear Lizzie cut apart sheet that I included in the kit and I just really love the way that this looks. So this was one four by six card that I cut up. Um, it had a dog on it. I knew I wouldn't use that card. And so it's just a four by six piece and I cut it into two pieces and layered them together. So it looks bigger and, and it gives more weight even though it was just a small piece of paper. Um, these pieces of paper are left over from another layout and you can see I have the circle cut out of them. I'm kind of really liking, if you watched my past videos, which just, you can pop over to the um, Stash Kits playlist and they're all there. Um, but I punched some circles out of some of the papers and I like kind of leaving that imperfect edge there. Um, I think it gives it a little bit of character and you can see it right here too. So I really like that. Um, so I layered up some of the vellum pieces from the Maggie Holmes um, vellum package, which is, let's see, open book. And I decided to include the bunny because it's Easter. And then I also decided to include the chick that's on the sticker sheet from the confetti line from Maggie Holmes. And this sweet is a word um, that's from my sweet words cut file. And you can see it's just a little bit, it's not quite white. I did cut it out in white, but I wanted to make it a little bit darker than white because all of these little stickers have kind of a grayish or creamy cast to them. And so I was trying to just mimic that just a little bit so it wasn't so stark. Um, this is a cut file I had left over from another layout that I created as well. And so I just layered it in here. I thought about cutting another one and layering it here, which I still might do, but I've just been kind of lazy about it. Um, I added in these two little banner flags from the sticker sheet. These are from the sticker sheet as well. And to balance this gold, I went ahead and tucked a little bit of that gold washi that I included in my kit down here, right here between these layers, and a little bit right here as well. So I like to kind of place things so that there's um, that they're kind of all over the layout. For my title, I used the word thickers from the confetti line as well that are again included in the kit. And um, I sprinkled some gold mist to finish everything off. I, um, this is like I said, a bit of a different layout for me, but I wanted to do something different. I loved this photo because it's just pretty and um, kind of shows the backyard that um, at my in-laws and I just really like the openness of it but I also wanted to include this picture of the hunt um, and so I just separated them a little bit because I, they didn't feel right together and also I wanted to feature this wreath and I had cut it out and it was a little bit smaller than um, if I wanted to include both of these photos I would have cut it a little bit larger but what I like to do is cut things before I get to scrapbooking that I might use and then um, use them as I'm going and so I I don't want to be I don't want to stop in the middle of the layout to cut 
something out usually. So, um, Also, with all of these layouts, I added the journaling later. And I'm going to talk more about that at the end of the video. So for the people who just want to see the layouts, just show me the layouts, Jen. Um, I'll show you the layouts and talk through those. And then I'll go back and talk about um, some of the decisions that I made regarding the journaling. So there is that one. The second one, so that one's probably my least favorite one of the three that I'm going to show you. The second one is called Happy Birthday, Wesley. Oh, I wanted to point out, so sometimes you can take your embellishments and let them inspire a layout. So there were bunnies and, and chicks. Um, I think there were a couple. There was only one chick, but... I thought, I have more Easter photos and I could definitely use those. Sometimes I have a hard time using things like that on other kinds of layouts, but it inspires me to make layouts about subjects that um, are sometimes hard for me to scrapbook. Uh, holidays in particular are tricky for me. I don't know why, but Easter has been fun So because it, it's light and pretty colors. So anyway, so I let those kind of help me decide what, what photos to use. Okay, so this layout um, is called Happy Birthday Wesley, and it's his literal birthday. This is my nephew, and I'm going. I know I'm going to have lots of photos of of him, and I'll talk about some of the journaling that goes along with that later too. But um, first of all, I want to point out that the title um, was inspired by the product again, and. The Maggie Holmes confetti line, I included the stickers and the um, chipboard pieces from that line. And they are birthday themed. And I thought, well, it's his birthday, so why don't I just include some of those pieces? And I think it worked out really well. I like the way that it all comes together. And I separated the words birth and day so that it seemed different than a regular birthday. Um, and then... The cut file that I layered in the background is the Lotus background, which is on in my shop as well. And I just layered pieces from the 6x6 My Mind's Eye paper pad that I included in the kit. And I really like the way that looks. I did um, block off where the photos were going to be so I didn't have to fill in those spots. But it was kind of nice. I just watched TV and I cut those out and, and layered them behind. And I really like the way that it turned out. Um... I put a little bit of, this is from the 6x6 paper pad as well, so all of the papers on here from the 6x6 paper pad except this polka dot vellum in the background, which is from my mind's eye that I included in the kit as well. Um, and these little vellum pieces are from the Maggie Holmes open book collection um, die cut package that I included. I have a few little stickers as well, and then one of the tags that was in the kit, and then these little hearts are from the Studio Calico um, hearts, chipboard hearts that I included. I'm having a hard time thinking and speaking today. Um, so I just like the way that this brings in a little something to the layout. It, the, the title was black, those black thickers, and so I knew I wanted to bring black somewhere else. So I brought a little bit down here with the tag and then a little bit up at the top with that stripe. And I like the way everything kind of balances out. And then I typed up my journaling, cut that into strips. I've been really loving my typewriter lately. Again, I'm going to talk about some of my journaling choices in a minute. But that is layout number two. And then this last layout is kind of a different and interesting one. Um, so this is a layout about um, my sister-in-law throws awesome birthday parties for her kids. And this one, my husband's aunt um, boards horses and trains them and does horse riding lessons. Anyway, she lives just a couple houses down. And so my sister-in-law asked her to um, dress up the horses like unicorns and the kids had pony rides well horse rides 
and it was kind of magical and, and really awesome. So I just um, talked a little bit about that. And then for my background, so this is something I've seen other people do, but I have not done it before myself. But I, I really actually love the way the PC look that this layout has. It's very artsy kind of, I don't know. Um, it's a little bit different for me, but I super, super love this style. So this is from the sticker sheet and I just peeled off, uh, peel it off from the backing. So some of these stickers are still on the sticker sheet. It just doesn't have this outside piece holding them in. And I used that as kind of my base piece. And then I layered up one of the little cut apart pieces from the Dear Lizzie cut apart sheet. Um, so on the back of that is that, um, really cute polka dot paper. So that's came from the same sheet. And then um, I just put a few different little bits of paper that I had left over from other layouts. Again, this one has the circle cut out of it. I really, really love the way that looks. And then I've included a few vellum pieces. Um, this is from the Dear Lizzie, or not Dear Lizzie, Maggie Holmes chipboard sheet. And then this is from my stash. This is not included in the kit, but these are um, and they were on the last layout too. I should point that out. These are Teresa Collins Studio Gold um, Gold Alphabet stickers, if you can see that. So my title is Party Animal, which I thought was fun. And I made sure to choose a word that fit in between the, the P and the Y where they dip down. Um, because I like when things nestle together. I've talked about that before, but when you can make things overlap or or nestle in, um, it really brings everything together and makes it feel cohesive and like it belongs there. So these little, um, I like the way that these little leaves kind of come off the edge of the layout and they are, one of them was left, well, they're both left over from a previous layout and they're just misted with Mr. Huey's Splash. And this is from my Curry Leaves cut file and from my, um, what's it called? Ferns and Leaves cut file uh, in my shop. And then um, for these little circles, so I kept the, um, I don't have my kit right next to me or I'd show you, but there's the little cardboard piece that I had a roll of stickers on and I just used the end of it with some um, tarnished brass distress paint and I stamped it onto the background of the layout. And I really like the way that it looks. And um, it brings in some of the gold from the other elements. And then after I did that, I sprinkled mist in a few different colors. And I really like how the little droplets kind of look like confetti and they look really partyish. So I thought that lent to the overall theme of the layout really well. And so I used Piglet Mist. Mr. Huey's, and then I used um, gold, gold color shine. I used um, what is that color? Patina color shine, and also butter color shine. So that's the yellow, and I just really love the way that this one turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then I just used my Chamel roller date stamp for the date, and that finished that one off. Um, oh, and I used my um, watercolors and just painted a little halo of pink around some of the photos. I'll, uh, if you want to see it better or maybe, um, I don't know, I'll try to get a good photo of it for the still photos on my blog, but there's just a little light, light pink around the edges. So one thing that I wanted to point out about these layouts in regards to journaling. So with all of these layouts, I decided to create the layouts and then journal about them later. Um, I've been sick all week and so I kind of sat in front of the TV and scrapbooked a little bit. And so I didn't have my typewriter with me and I wasn't feeling like these layouts um, we're going to be handwritten journaling. So somebody asked me when I'll handwrite my journaling and when I'll type it up. And sometimes it's just a matter of what I am loving right now. And I'm loving my typewriter right now. I just like the way that it looks. 
and um, I do use my handwriting quite often. I like to use my handwriting when there's a really defined spot for the journaling. So where this was so open, I felt like the structure that the typewriter um, gives to this layout was really important. And so that is one reason why I would choose typing over, over um, handwriting. But um, in contrast, so sometimes when I have a scripty title, like if this were my title right here, then the typewriting is um, a good contrast to that, so I'll choose to pair it with a typewritten journaling. In this case, I didn't use um, a scripty title, but I still felt like I liked the structure that the typewriting added. Um, something else I wanted to point out about the journaling is, so Easter layouts, or any any layout where you have multiple photos that you want to scrapbook about, um, or an occasion that happens every single year like we always have an Easter egg hunt every single year do I need to scrapbook that every single year probably not but if I like the photos I'm gonna want to scrapbook them anyway so what I do is I try to find a story that is different what is different about this year than last year so this year my in-laws had moved into a new house and they have this really pretty backyard that look overlooks the whole valley and there's horses down here in this field and it was just really pretty um, so I pointed that out and then I'll, I also noticed that this year my my daughter was helping the younger cousins to find the eggs and that was something that stood out to me and and I'm glad that she's taking on the role of helper so when you're creating layouts where you have the same thing that happens maybe a tradition or something like that um, you need to look for the differences and so that's what I've done with with the journaling on this layout on this layout um, the thing I wanted to point out about the journaling here so a I chose to typewrite my journaling because um, handwritten journaling I would have maybe had to squeeze up here and I didn't want to I didn't want to <laughs> um, I thought it would look better if I could layer it on the side here and so I typed it up because then I can cut it into strips and layer it on of course I could have handwritten it and cut it into strips it just doesn't look as nice so um, but what I wanted to point out is so I'm going to have a lot of photos of this new baby it's my sister's baby we're really close um, and I don't know if you remember I when I started my channel her other son had just been born so they're 14 months apart really close and um, so what I wanted, I want to point out different things on on the layouts that are about baby Wesley. So I did a layout before in a video where I showed, um, I talked about the fact, or I talked about in the journaling about how my sister says I love you the most in a million to my daughter and now she says it to her kids. And I, I did that with um, a picture of brand new baby Wesley and his stats. Well this time, um, I talked about how we all came to the hospital, but so this is a, an instance where I kind of wish I would have done the journaling at the time that I created the layout instead of later because it might have changed my title. But um, I talked about in the journaling how just a year ago, um, how it was the same. So we showed up at the hospital at the same time, my mom, me, my brother, and my daughter, just like we did a year ago when Denver was born. We brought my my sister and um, her husband the same food from the same restaurant that we brought them a year ago. Um, we were so happy to meet him. I watched my daughter hold, hold him lovingly and my heart ached a little just like it did a year ago. That's um, just part of the journaling. And so to tie in the title, I did add at the end, happy birthday, little buddy. But if I would have been... Um, Working on it, if I did the journaling at the same time I did the titling, I probably would have had the title be just like a year ago. Um, because that is really what I'm pointing out is, is how it was similar um, when baby Wesley was born as to when his brother was born last year. And so um, that's something to think about if you do your journaling. I know a lot of people like to get in their modes where they're just create, 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 and then journal, journal, journal. Um, because you get in the zone, but I think it's something that I have to consider. Um, I think I, I 
in the future will continue to do the journaling after, right when I do the layout because things like that um, wouldn't have slipped by. So one more thing, if you're not, if you're tired of listening, feel free. <laughs> um, you can head over to the blog for still photos. But um, one more thing I wanted to point out about the journaling is I used these little hearts that had the text on them. And so this text kind of mimics that. And so I really like the typewritten journaling for that reason too. So, and then this layout, I, I had no reason. Um, I thought about writing down here, but again, I just wanted, because this is kind of free form and, and just funky and fun. I liked the structure that the typewritten journaling gave. So those are my three layouts. I hope you enjoyed. Um, they're not all my favorite, but I like them. And um, I got the, the stories documented and that's what's important to me. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Or like I said, you can head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com where I'll have more information, still photos of the layouts. And then again, I'll link to the products below each each layout. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I did want to mention I will not have a collection disconnection video tomorrow and I apologize for that but I am just feeling sick still and um, I'm going to go ahead and take the weekend to recuperate. So um, thanks so, so much for all your support and for all my new subscribers and if you made it to the end um, you get a double thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.